Hey there, welcome back. In this video, you will learn how you can create WordPress posts automatically for every new task in ClickUp. So guys, as project managers and content creators, you already know the importance of efficiency and organization in your work. So that's why we have decided to show you how to integrate two of your favorite tools that is WordPress and ClickUp. So by the end of this video, you will be able to create posts in WordPress automatically whenever you are going to add a task in ClickUp. So stay tuned and learn this automation. To set up this automation guys, we are using Pabli Connect which is an integration and automation tool and this is the landing page of Pabli. And I'm going to paste the same link in the description as well so that you can av avail the limited time offer and sign up for free so that you can get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. Okay, so you can just sign up right now from the given link. After that, you have to sign in and select Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this. From here, guys, you have to click on this create workflow button. And here you can give a suitable name to your workflows as well. So I am giving the name here as click up tasks to WordPress post. All right. So after giving the name like this, you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page will load up like this. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up any automation. So trigger is the event which start this workflow and the action would be a automated response or the consequence of the trigger. So here in our use case, adding a task in ClickUp will trigger this workflow and the action would be to create a post in WordPress. So here in this trigger section, you can see it is asking to choose the trigger application. So here ClickUp is our trigger application. All right, so click up, select click up, and then you have to select the trigger event as new task. All right, then click on connect button. From here, select add new connection. Then it, then it will ask for the API key or the token of click up application to make this connection. So to find this token, you need to follow these instructions written here. Let me show you that directly in my click up application. All right, so here guys, this is my ClickUp applications dashboard. And on the bottom left hand side, you can see my profile icon. Under the profile, guys, you will find this apps tab. Click on apps. And here you will find the API token. Okay, so you can generate a new token as well, or you can use this key already created. So you can click on copy from here and you have to paste this key here in this field like this, and then click on save and you will be connected with ClickUp, right? So we are connected and here started asking the workspace name, the space name, the folder name and the list name. So guys, in ClickUp, you can create workspaces and spaces and folders and under the folders, you can create tasks. So here you can see, I am going to open my workspace. So this is my workspace and the name of the workspace you can see here. This is the workspace name Ashi's workspace. All right. And here is the space named as connect. And here is the folder named as new leads. Okay. And here you can create a tasks in this list to do list. So first of all, let me select the workspace name, then the space name. All right. And the folder name. Let me see the folder name here. New leads. Okay. New leads is the folder name. Sorry, new lead is the list name. Folders name is this Pabli leads. Okay. And new leads is the list. Right. Right. And here guys, by clicking on save and send test request button, you can fetch the details of our most recently created task. Right, so guys, I have created the recent task here as this, named as WordPress post. Let me open this for you. This is the title of the word uh, of the task I have created. WordPress post is a title. This is the description. This is the creation date and time. Here you can add subtasks. Okay, here you can add attachments, a checklist. You can uh, enter the due date. Okay, you can provide a due date as well. Okay, 
and you can uh, do many things here. So this is the task I have created. Now let me close this. And here let me just click on save and send test request button and the details of this task will be fetched here like this. You can see we got this text content label in which we have received the content or the description of the task. So guys this is actually the thing that I want to post on WordPress that I have added in the task description. This is actually the uh, data or you can see the uh, post I want to create on WordPress that I have added here in the task of ClickUp. Okay. So uh, I want to create a post out of this data in WordPress. For that to happen we need to create uh, we need to connect WordPress here in the section step. So here guys you can see in this description let me open the uh, task again. In this description this is the title of the post and this is the post that I want to create. So here you have to uh, keep the format of the post as it is. In the first line just provide the title of the post and in the second line from the second line you can uh, enter the content of the post. Okay. So keep the format as it is because we are going to set up an automation here which is going to automatically uh, create posts in WordPress and here we got this data in the single label in the text content label. So we didn't receive the title and the content separately. We have received the title and the content together in this same label. So first of all, I'm going to separate this title from this content. Okay. So that we can uh, use the data separately. Let me show you how here guys in this action step, I'm going to use a feature of Fabliconnect, which is called text formatter search for text formatter here and the action event we are going to use is split text. So what is split text will do split text is going to split the title out of this content. Okay. Out of this paragraph. Let me show you how just click on connect button here. And here it is asking which text you want to split. So here I'm going to map this text content label and to map it here you just have to click here and the previous step will appear in the drop down and when you click on it you will find the data here only from here map the text content label here it is asking for the separator so here you can see uh, we have this question mark here so after question mark uh, from the next line we have this data so we can use this question mark as the separator okay or you can use any other symbol if you have okay i am currently using the question mark so I'm just going to put question mark here as the separator. Okay. And here it is asking which segment or which part of the text that you want to split out. So I want both the title and the content to be split it separately. So here when you click on uh, segment index, it will show you these options. So from here, I'm going to select all option. Okay. When you select first, it will gain, give you title only. If, when you select second, it will gain, give you the content only. And here we have last and second to last option as well for uh, separating things in different variations. We, you, you can use all these options right now. I'm selecting all option and click on save and send test request and in the result label in the result, you will find two result labels result zero label and result one label here. We got the title of the post and here we got the content of the post. Okay. That's how you can separate. Now it is time to post it on WordPress for that click here on this plus icon and in from this action step search for WordPress WordPress. Okay. And select the action event as create a post Then click on connect from here select add new connection and here you have to fill your username of WordPress account, the WordPress accounts password and the base URL. So you have already know uh, your uh, username and password of WordPress account. Just fill it here for the base URL. You can read in the instructions. You need to put the uh, WordPress URL that is open the dashboard of WordPress like this. And here in the top search bar, you will find this URL. Just copy this URL from here and paste it here in this base URL field like this. And now read the instructions. Do not include slash WP admin and the things after that. So I am going to remove the extra things. Okay. And you have to enter the leading HTTP address. So it is there. Okay. Now 
just click on save and you will be connected with your WordPress account. And the connection that you make here by filling all the details will be saved in your account. So if you want to make the connection again in the same workflow or in, in a different workflow, you can use your saved connections. Okay, as I have already created many connections with WordPress. Now let me choose my saved connections. For that, you just have to select this existing connection option. Select this and here it will show you the list of all your existing or saved connections. From here you can choose any saved connection and after that click on save one more time and you will be connected again. So you do not have to fill all the data again and again uh, while making the connections. You just, you just have to fill the data once and you are done. After that you can use your saved connection. So we are now connected and here it started asking uh, the type of the post. So here uh, I am selecting post option as the post type. Here it is asking for the post title. So guys you can see we have separated the post title and the content here. So now we have two labels that we can use it here. Okay, that's why we have separated it. Just click here and from the second step map this result zero label for the post title. For the post content use the result one label. Here you can provide a slug, excerpt and you can select the status of the post as publish or future or draft. If you want to schedule the post you can use future. If you want to create save it as a draft you can select draft option according to your needs. I'm just selecting publish because I want to directly publish it. You can enter the categories if you have tags if you have. You can select the media uh, uh, already uploaded in your WordPress to attach in the post. Okay, you can select it from this list. Okay, you can select the format standard aside or whatever. I'm selecting standard. Okay, you can select the ping status, the comment status. You can select the author. Okay, here we have many options, but these are not compulsory options. So I'm just uh, filling the compulsory details here to show you the demo of how it works. You can use all the options. Now to check the connection word with WordPress, you can click on save and send test request button and a new post will be created on your WordPress page or website. Let me show you. I am clicking on save and send test request button. So this is the response we have received guys and here we got these links you can see. We got the link of the post as well here. So you can directly see the post from your WordPress uh, page or you can use this link. Let me show you the post from this link only. So here you can see this is the post test post created with the same name where are commits in GitHub on GitHub. You can navigate to the main page of the repository. This is the same post. This is the same data I have entered here. You can see with the same title, the same post and it got uh, created here like this. Where is the page? Here is. Okay. So this is how it is going to work guys. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once. After that, after checking the test connection, you don't have to do anything manually afterwards. In real time, whenever you are going to create a new task in this exact same format in ClickUp, that is going to trigger the workflow and your post will be created in WordPress automatically. And guys, you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description. You can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.